Hi everybody, welcome to the So Essential vlog. I'm here today to talk you through my latest makes, which I'm very excited about. But before I get started on that, I also have some fantastic news that we are doing a giveaway to celebrate our 15th birthday. So So Essential was started by my husband Ed and my mother-in-law Angela 15 years ago. It was a kitchen table startup, started in their family home and to celebrate the fact that we're still here, still going strong, still filling the world with our love of sewing we wanted to give you guys the opportunity to win a fantastic prize and the value is well over £700 so it's a juicy one and well worth getting involved. I just need to run through the prize details with you and the first thing I need to do is say a massive massive thank you to Janome who have sponsored the giveaway and given us a Janome M50 QDC sewing machine which retails at £539 to give away so it's a gorgeous machine with loads of beautiful features. This machine and all of the Janome machines are available on our site and you can find those, have a read up about this bad boy and see what features it's got. All available on our website and the link to our website's below. We've also had Simplicity and McCall's have contributed Simply the Best Sewing Book which is a fantastic reference guide whether you're a complete beginner or you're an experienced sewist. There's some lovely tips and techniques and things that you just might occasionally forget and need to refer back to in there and it covers everything right from the basics through to some of the more advanced techniques as well. And then we're also contributing a £100 gift voucher to spend on our site. So if you've had a good look around our site, you'll see that there's so many things you could spend that money on. Beautiful fabrics, fantastic range of patterns, all the hobby and tools and gadgets you could dream of. So um, yeah, that'll be very, very useful, I'm sure, as well. And then we've also contributed this lovely box of Madeira overlocker threads. So... There's black, grey and white in there. There's three overlocker threads and one aero flock, which is like a woolly nylon thread for each colour. So that's a lovely set. Um, and I think, you know, that would be really incredibly useful. They're beautiful quality threads, give you a really nice finish on your overlocking. And then we've also whoop, included this um, sorry, Mettler Serralon um, thread pack as well. So that's one of the Mettler polyester threads in a rainbow of colours. It's just like a little sweetie box. It's gorgeous. Um, and as I said, all of those items, when you add them all together, the retail prices, it comes to over £730. So that's a fantastic juicy price. So I guess what you want to know now is, how do I enter? Well, all you need to do is sign up to our newsletter, which you can do on any page of our website. If you go to the bottom of any page, there's a box there and you can sign up to the newsletter. I will put full terms and conditions for the competition below. It is only open to UK or um, Ireland residents, unfortunately, because of the sewing machine and implications with that. We, it is only open to those who reside in the UK or Ireland. Um, and the competition closes on the 31st of July. So anybody who has signed up for the newsletter by 4 p.m. on the 31st of July will be entered into the draw. We will also be entering all the people who've already signed up because we want to say a massive thank you to everybody who supported us along this incredible journey. And for extra entries, you can also um, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and share the giveaway post with your friends. So please share this, please let people know because it's a wonderful opportunity. There's going to be one very, very happy service out there, I'm sure. So that's the competition. I think I've told you everything I need to tell you about that. But as I say, full terms and conditions will be detailed below anyway. So if you need to read up on it, you can. But let's get cracking with the makes then. So the first one I want to show you, which I'm loving wearing today, I felt so good good leaving the house in this this morning is my penny dress by sew over it so it's a pattern I've had my eye on for quite some time because it's a shirt dress pattern and I've never made a shirt dress but it's a really easy shirt dress pattern um, partly thanks to the elasticated waist and the fact that there's only three buttons on it um, the way that the collar's constructed um, the fact that it's got these grown on sleeves um, 
and then it's got this beautiful beautiful full circle skirt which I shall I know people have become, it's become a bit of a thing that I get on the chair now so I thought I've got to show you this skirt on the chair it's um just beautiful and I feel really feminine wearing it but comfortable as well I don't feel silly I don't feel too overdressed because it's got this sort of shirt bodice um i think it makes it feel just a little bit less formal and a bit more casual and it's just ideal for these muggy summer days that we're experiencing at the moment it's made in our lady mcelroy cotton lawn and um, which is available on our site as is the pattern and the links to our site and um the products are below um but let me start by telling you a bit about the pattern so um it comes in sizes from a 33 inch bust up to a 45 inch bust, 26 inch waist up to a 38 inch waist and a 36 inch hip up to a 48 inch hip. Um, so that's the range of sizes there. Um, in terms of adjustments, I didn't, oh, I did make, I did make my usual high brown back and forward shoulder adjustment, which is just standard for me on any bodice really I always have to bring those shoulder seams forward um, but what I was really pleased about I was a bit concerned because in my experience the sew over it patterns um, are a little bit scant round here for me um, and I have to make quite a lot of adjustment in that area um, but because of the grown on sleeves with this one I didn't have to I didn't have to faff around at all and they fit really nicely they sort of finish where they should um, I did make a quick twirl first just to make make sure um but yeah that was great so you know if something's easy to fit in the bodies for me i'd say it's pretty easy to fit in the bodies because i do have a lot of issues in those areas um i made a straight size 10 um which was pretty much bang on my measurements so um that was great not having to make any adjustments um in terms of the construction i think it was all really sort of simple and straightforward and easy um i did get a little bit confused with the facing because when you line the facing up um with the neckline of the bodice you do actually have a little gap around the front between the edge of the neckline and where the facing finishes but it's supposed to be like that and i couldn't quite work it out and i was trying to get the facing lined up the raw edges lined up with the neckline um, and I just couldn't work out where I was going wrong and then when I look closely at the picture it does actually show you that the facing should actually finish beneath there should be a bit of a gap between the edge of the neckline and the edge of the facing and then when I googled it I noticed a few other people had got confused with that as well but once you work it out once you know hopefully me telling you this makes it much easier and more straightforward for you guys um it fits together beautifully it comes together beautifully it's really well considered the way she puts it together um one thing i probably might do differently next time is there are little gathers here and i think actually it's it's not particularly gathered i think what i would probably do is reduce the length of gathering so i'd make it a smaller section and make it a little bit more gathered um because the gathers are almost sort of not noticeable really um but that's fine you know i can i'm quite happy with that but that's just a little tip um that i picked up along the way um the fabric is just gorgeous i mean as you would expect it's a lady mcelroy or mcelroy however you want to say it cotton lawn so i've used these time and time again and i have never been disappointed they always wash and wear beautifully um super cool and i mean just look at the fabric guys just look at the pattern it's just so pretty i think i spoke about this on a fabric haul vlog a while back and got very overexcited about it but um hopefully now it's made up in dress form you can see why um you can obviously wear a belt with this and i think that's something i might like to do so i did buy a belt yesterday and i wanted your opinion on it i think maybe this belt i think maybe has got a bit too much going on with considering how busy the fabric is so i thought i'd put it out to you guys and see what you think is is that the case you think it is too busy maybe i need a belt this sort of size um but just a bit more understated maybe one color instead of two maybe not metallic i don't know i thought i'd just see what you guys think about it anyway um but overall i am absolutely thrilled with this dress i would definitely recommend the pattern um just perfect to have in your summer wardrobe just so easy to throw on and even if you're not a dress person 
you know traditionally I'm not really but I must say I'm getting more and more into dresses especially during the summer months because they're comfortable they're cool and also you've only got to think about one thing you know if you choose you've only got to choose the dress stick that on and your shoes and you're done whereas if you're wearing separates you've got to think about coordinating everything and what goes with what so you know I'm, I'm definitely really enjoying wearing dresses right now so that's my first one that I wanted to talk to you about oh, I was also going to talk to you as well about I did mention in a previous vlog about this wonderful gadget which we also sell on our site and the link to our sites below this is a simflex sewing gauge so i used this when i did my buttonholes on this dress although there was only three of them it just makes spacing your buttonholes really quick and easy you're not having to sit there with a the tape measure you can just line it up with where you want your first one and then spread them out evenly and you know they're going to be evenly spaced so that was really handy i thought i'd share that with you and i also used the incredible sensor one step buttonhole on my Husqvarna diamond sewing machine as well which I talked to you about again um, on a previous vlog and the way it works is you just plug it in you plug it into your sewing machine with this little adapter thing here um, and you program in well you don't program you just type in the size of the buttonhole that you want to create and then you um, make sure that the top of the the red disc there's a little white bit that lines it with a white line on there you press go and it does it for you you don't have to put a button inside your foot it's just a really amazing feature and you know it is a high-end machine I'll just share that with you there just let you have a good good look at that so you can see where the sensor is it's just a really really clever piece of equipment and sometimes you know we get asked about these higher-end machines you know what what is worth all that money and you know what are the things that make it worth that sort of money and it's those sorts of features I think that really set them apart so I just thought that might be interesting for some of you out there and then now I shall get on and talk you through my next make so the next make I've got to show you with you is Birda 6344 which is this lovely jersey wrap dress sundress and again, I've had my eye on this pattern for quite some time, really wanted to make it. I've made it to just below knee length again. So I'm really getting into these midi lengths. I love them. I just feel really sort of, um, I suppose you just feel a bit sophisticated in them, a bit chic, you know. Um, it just feels a bit more ladylike. Maybe it's because I'm getting a bit older, I don't know. I never used to wear this length before, but I'm really into it now. Um, and yeah, this is a really nice pattern. I, I wanted to make it for ages. I love the fact that it's got the um, V at the front. I think that's quite unusual on like a sundress pattern. It's got really cute twisted little straps. So I'll just show you those um and yeah it just wraps over it's got um you leave a little gap in your seam there so that you can thread the tie through the waist tie through and wrap it round um and yeah it just i'm really pleased with it this is a john caldor fabric it's a porsche fabric so it's beautiful um jersey with like a slight sheen to it and it drapes and moves beautifully and although it is made from synthetic fibers um, I've made quite a few summer dresses from these fabrics over the years and they are so nice to wear in the summer they're so cool they're so comfortable they feel so nice against your skin we've got this one in a color black and white colorway or navy and white I think it might be with little yellow flowers as well so all of that the pattern and the fabrics are available on the site and the link to those is below um, in terms of sizing, I just made a straight size, I, can't, I think I made a straight, a straight size 10 or a 12, um, I think it was a 12 actually I did, I made a 12 because I thought if I need to um, take it in around the bust or anything I could do that because it's got princess seams as well so I thought I'll be able to adjust those if I need to but actually the 12 was absolutely fine. Um, you can make a version a maxi version as well and you can also make a version with the, at this length with a flounce um, but I just decided I wanted just a straight skirt on it I didn't think it needed the flounce um, overall it was quite a sort of easy pattern really it was quite an easy sew in a lot of respects but what wasn't easy I'm going to be really honest is that the instructions weren't very clear um, 
very full <laughs> there wasn't a lot of information there so I wouldn't really recommend this pattern for a beginner um, but if you are an experienced sewist you know you can work it out and you can piece it together but I just want to be really honest about that um, I had a few issues with the construction but I think because I made it on my overlocker and I'm a really confident user of my overlocker I use it all the time um, but I made a few, I've made quite a lot of woven projects recently like the penny dress I've just shown you and going back to the overlocker and using a really stretchy jersey I had to really sort of change the way I was thinking and get back into it but one of the issues I experienced was that when you, because the straps are grown on at the front here you have to, when you're sewing the lining to the bodice, you have to sew so far and then you have to stop um, either side of the strap so that you're able to turn the straps through and you're able to attach the lining. And sewing on an overlocker, it's quite difficult to do that. It's quite difficult to stop like halfway across a length of fabric. Um, so in hindsight, what my recommendation would be, would be probably to, st to sew those seams on your sewing machine instead. Because one thing I did end up doing was, I probably sewed, I sewed too far or something just went slightly awry and I've ended up with um, non-symmetrical sort of bits of the bodice if you notice here, you know I'm showing you warts and all, I'm being really honest, this one is a bit more um, scant than that one um, and that's my fault, that was my mistake with my overlocker or serger so you know in hindsight I want to share with you guys if you want to make this dress the tips and things that I would recommend. Um, one of the other issues I had as well was I didn't get the um, waistband lined up perfectly with the edge of the skirt I thought I had when I pinned it and then when I sewed it, it wasn't. And again, because I did it on my overlocker, I couldn't then move that across. But actually, because the um, bow ties there, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see that. It's not a problem. And also, it is the same width as the um, the way the ties anyway. So it doesn't look um, too bad. But you know, I just want to be really honest with you guys. You know, not every project I make goes perfectly. There are issues with them sometimes. Um, but all the issues with this one were down to me and my sort of um, my mistakes. Um, so you know, overall a really good pattern. I really love the dress. I'd definitely make it again. But I would just sew these seams where you join the bodice to the neckline on my sewing machine rather than my overlocker next time um, but other than that very very pleased with it I think I'll get a huge amount of wear out of this over the summer um, and I'll certainly be packing it in my suitcase for my holiday so I hope you've enjoyed all of that today please don't forget about the giveaway remember over 700 pounds worth of prizes all you've got to do is sign up for our newsletter and for extra entries follow us on Instagram and Facebook and share the post with your friends. Just get the word out there because who knows, you know, you or one of your friends might win. And I'll put full terms and conditions about that below. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my makes and hearing my thoughts and uh, my honest opinions that I share with you. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. If you like what you see today, please like and subscribe.